Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Each year, thousands of people visit Australia to enjoy its beautiful beaches and spectacular outback. However, the land down under is also known for something more sinister. Its vast array of killer creatures. And that's what we're interested in. For this installment, we'll once again be omitting humans from our list. As we get started, help us out by hitting that like button and be sure to leave us a comment because we're always looking to engage in interesting conversations with you. Also, don't forget to click the bell so you get notified every time we put out a new video. Number 10, Blue Ringed Octopus. Don't be fooled by their bright and bubbly appearance. These colorful creatures are deadly. Packed with enough venom to kill 10 healthy adults, their weapon, known as tetrodotoxin, is also around 1,200 times deadlier than cyanide. The good news, there's only been two confirmed deaths caused by this vibrant octopod, and because of their docile nature, most attacks occur while trying to disturb their habitat. Number 9. Stonefish This ultra-venomous breed of scorpionfish is known for being almost impossible to spot thanks to their stone-like appearance. Poor, unsuspecting beachgoers often fall prey to the camouflaged stonefish, and accidentally stepping on one is far from a pleasant experience. The neurotoxin that they release is so painful, victims have demanded that the afflicted limb be amputated to end their misery. Although deaths from stonefish are rare, they've earned a place on this list for the frequency of their attacks, as their antivenom is the second most frequently administered in Australia. Number 8. Irukanji Jellyfish Responsible for the deaths of one or two people on average annually, this smaller relative of the box jellyfish packs a punch that is said to start off mild but slowly grow into a pain that courses through the victim's body. As tiny as the size of your thumbnail, you'd think twice to mess with these little creatures again if you survive your first encounter. Stings bring on Irukanji syndrome, marked by symptoms including lower back pain, cramps, sweating, anxiety, and nausea. Number 7. Sharks Responsible for roughly 4 to 10 attacks annually and with a fatality rate of roughly 25%, sharks aren't quite the killers that the movies make them out to be. All of the big three can be found along Australia's coastline. And although the great white and tiger sharks are thought to have caused more deaths, it's actually the unpredictable bull shark that should make you nervous. These bullies are happy to stray into fresh water and were even seen window shopping in the streets of Brisbane during the heavy flooding in 2010. Number 6. Box Jellyfish With the second most powerful venom of any creature, it's easy to see why this fearsome sea dweller is often listed as the most dangerous creature down under. Their 60 or so tentacles grow up to 10 feet or 3 meters in length each, and every tentacle has roughly 5,000 stinging cells. The agonizing pain of their sting causes a person to go into shock, often causing cardiac arrest within minutes, which makes getting back to shore by yourself nearly impossible. Like the Irukanji jellyfish, box jellyfish will kill one to two people on average annually. Number five, Sydney funnel web spider. Pure aggression and venom twice as powerful as cyanide make this eight-legged brute an Australian joy. With fangs as long as some snakes, they've been known to pierce through fingernails and even leather shoes. Funnel webs are sensitive to light, so they do what they can to keep out of the sun. In residential areas, piles of bricks and logs are popular hiding places, but shoes are a favorite too. On average, two people died per year before an antivenom was introduced in the 1980s, but since death can occur within 15 minutes, a swift response and identification of the arachnid are vital to survival. Number 4. Eastern Brown Snake Although the inland taipan has the most powerful venom of any snake, the eastern brown snake is fast, aggressive, bad-tempered, and nervy. Responsible for half of all snake deaths in Australia, at least two people succumb to their attacks each year. Many victims have confirmed that their initial bite is almost painless, oftentimes were even unaware that they were bitten at all. If you don't get to that all-important antivenom quickly, you'll fall victim to paralysis and uncontrollable bleeding, eventually leading to death, often in less than an hour. Number 3. Saltwater Crocodile the salty is the largest living reptile on Earth and is responsible for around two to three deaths per year, although that number is on the rise. 
The largest authenticated croc held in captivity measured in at 6.17 meters or about 20.24 feet and weighed an incredible 2,370 pounds or roughly 1,075 kilograms. Saltwater crocs are as happy in the sea as they are in fresh water in swamps, so you're never safe if you're near water. They're opportunistic hunters and will eat anything that nears their murky depths. Number two, dogs. Aussies love dogs. They make movies about them. They have landmarks dedicated to them, and one creepy town even has a pet cemetery devoted to them. But it seems that the love isn't always mutual. Responsible for approximately three deaths a year, dog attacks prove that literally everything in Australia has a taste for human flesh. Even more frightening, 78% of these occurrences are committed by family pets. Number one, honeybees. With roughly 10 people dying per year, the honeybee causes more deaths in Australia than spiders, snakes, and sharks combined. Bees and wasps are responsible for 33% of all admissions to the hospital due to a bite or sting compared to spiders and snakes, which are responsible for 30% and 15% respectively. If you're caught by the bee's barbed stinger, you'll probably just suffer pain and swelling, unless you're allergic. Then you can expect your airway to close up and die from asphyxiation if you don't seek immediate medical attention. Even if you're not allergic, disturbing a nest can lead to deadly mass attacks. Now let's watch some bees mess up some spiders. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, and click the bell to get notified about our next new video.